In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a group scatter plot. And just as with a regular scatter plot, both your x and your y axis variables must be interval or ratio, and that means they should be defined as scale in SPSS. Now, if you want to know more about why that is and why it doesn't work if these are ordinal, have a look at my scatter plot video. Now, what makes a group scatter plot different is that I'm splitting it by a categorical variable. So here I have gender, and I'm looking at the relationship between age and competency for males and females separately, but on the same graph. So I've got blue bubbles for males and green bubbles for females. I'm also going to show you how to insert a trend line for both of your subgroups. Just as in the other video, I'm going to use age and competency, and this is for employees. So what was their total competency score out of 100 when they started their job? And we want to look, is there a relationship between how old someone is and how competent they are when they start their job? and then see if that relationship's different for males and females. So if we go to graphs and chart builder, we want a scatter dot, and we're going to choose the second option. So double click or drag it into your gallery. And age is my independent variable because it will not change based on my competency. So if I become more or less competent, I'm not going to become older or younger. And my competency when I start my job is dependent. So it's going to the y-axis because it may depend upon my age. Now, in order to get those different color bubbles for males and females, I'm going to take gender and drag it to my set color. Go ahead and click OK. So now I can see the relationship between age and competency for males, which are the blue bubbles, and females, which are the green bubbles. And we can see that it looks like there's a similar trend because all the blue and the green bubbles are mixed up together. It does look like there's a few um, females here that are outside the regular trend, but otherwise they're both increasing. So as males and females get older, they tend to be more competent at their job. And again, that's probably because they have more experience and more education. Now to add our trend lines, double click to open the chart editor. And up here at the top, we've got an icon that says add fit line at subgroups. And that's what we want because I want a separate line for males and females. And I want linear because my trend here is clearly a straight line. It's not curved. It's not quadratic or cubic or anything like that. So I'm going to leave it as linear. I can go ahead and close that if I want. Now, anytime you add a fit line, you should only do it if you're going to do a regression or you have done a regression analysis already. So with R squared values, what we do is we multiply them by 100 in order to get a percent. So if we take from males, for example, that would be 8.5%. And that tells us that for males, 8.5% of the variation in competency scores can be explained by age. And that's not very high, that's very low, only 8.5% because it means there's roughly 91 to 92% of the variation in competency not explained by age for males, and it's even smaller for females. But be very careful about putting in trend lines. You really should only do it if you're doing regression. And also um, consider if there are any outliers, such as these three points here, that might be throwing off the slope of your line. So it looks more like our trend should be a bit steeper, but because of these dots down here, it's made my line a bit more flat. So I would consider removing these three individuals um, while I create my graph and trend line.